you're being videotaped. Those words will soon be heard daily on the streets of London. 1,000 cameras will be used by officers in 10 London boroughs for a year, in a test that will turn London's police officers into walking CCTV cameras. The Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Sir Bernard Hogan Howe, says civilians and officers all stand to benefit from the equipment. Advocates say the public will be protected from police misconduct and officers will be protected from bogus complaints. Speaking this morning, Sir Bernard Hogan Howe said this. Our experience of using cameras already shows that people are more likely to plead guilty when they know we have captured the incident. That speeds up justice, puts offenders behind bars more quickly and protects potential victims. Video captures events in a way that can't be represented on paper in the same detail and it has been shown the mere presence of this type of video can often diffuse potentially violent situations without the need for force to be used. I believe it will also show our officers at their best, dealing with difficult and dangerous situations every day, but it will also provide clearer evidence when it's been alleged that we got things wrong. Officers in 10 London boroughs were handed the cameras today. Richard Poppy and Alex Fraser are police officers in the London borough of Camden. They describe the cameras. They are simply a three inch by three inch piece of plastic that attaches to our left breast pocket or right breast pocket and is fully visible to all those that uh, may see us walking around. The cameras will only be switched on when an incident occurs or when an officer wants to collect statements or evidence. Officers will inform those present when the camera is switched on. A handy feature of the camera is its pre-event video buffer. That continuously records and holds the most recent 30 seconds of video, even when the cameras are switched off. So the incident that prompts the officer to turn on the camera can be captured automatically. Police officers Richard Poppy and Alec Fraser explain when they will turn the cameras on. There are certain circumstances when we must put them on. Any interaction with the public that we initiate, uh, whether it be a stop of a person on the street or of a vehicle, instances of public safety, but it's about being uh, transparent. The move from the London Met follows a year-long experiment in Rialto in the USA. The results are striking and suggest that everyone simply behaves a bit better when there are cameras around. Even with only half of Rialto's police officers wearing their cameras at any given time, there was a 90% drop in the number of complaints against officers. Rialto officers also used force less often. There were just 25 instances, compared with 60 the previous year. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the study found that when force was used, it was twice as likely to have been applied by those officers who weren't wearing cameras during that shift. And those officers who applied force when they were wearing a camera always had the camera switched on during the incident, which may reassure those sceptics who think that officers can simply switch off their cameras before behaving badly. But in spite of the findings, the technology is divisive. Police officers and citizens alike have bristled at what they see as Big Brother's latest incursion. Jack Hart is from the Freedom Association, a pressure group that campaigns for individual liberty. He says the cameras will stop civilians approaching the police. It's impossible at the moment for any police force to store the sheer amount of data that would be recorded by having them on 24-7. So you're going to automatically have this debate about whether a camera was on or off. If a police officer wanted to do something that wasn't particularly on, they could just turn their camera off. It's not a system that is foolproof. You know, there are some situations where they are probably going to be incredibly valuable, but the majority of the time they're not going to add much more. They're, they're merely window dressing to make us feel safer, but in fact actually don't achieve that. Officers will store material from each incident and keep it on file for 31 days. It will then be erased unless it's needed as evidence. The Met Police say that if the victims want the camera to be switched off, officers will comply, but suspects won't have that right. Camden Borough is the first to start using the cameras and there will be further trials in nine other London boroughs.